The countdown is on to the 2022 Primetime Emmy Awards, and it's a crowded field when it comes to some of the biggest awards this year. Michael George has a look at the 2022 nominees. Understand it, you want to take down your HBO Succession leads the pack this year with 25 Emmy nominations, including Outstanding Drama Series. Netflix's wildly popular Squid Game is the first non-English language series to compete for TV's top honor, receiving a total of 14 nods. Ozark is also a best drama contender, releasing its final episodes in April. Lead actors Jason Bateman and Laura Linney are both up for trophies. And Zendaya received another lead actress nomination for Euphoria. Her first season win made her the youngest and only second black woman to win the category. Tuesday, she made history as the youngest producing Emmy nominee for the series. Start touching your toes! They touch each other's toes! What? what? Ted Lasso is back to defend its best comedy title, scoring a total of 20 nominations. But it's in good company, with fan favorites like Curb Your Enthusiasm, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and network newcomer Abbott Elementary. What's up? I thought one of my colleagues here hired a stripper for me. Star and creator Quinta Brunson also made history as the first black woman to receive three Comedy Emmy nominations in the same year, including acting and writing. The Television Academy received a record number of submissions this year, which the Academy says indicates two things. One. Production is at an historic high, and two, the quality of the shows we are all watching is also at an all-time high. There were some snubs in this year's batch, including only one nomination for the wrapped family drama This Is Us, and zero for big names like Julia Roberts, Jennifer Aniston, and Jessica Chastain. Last year's reigning champ, The Crown, didn't meet the eligibility period for 2022. Trophies will be awarded in September. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Miri, this is us. I thought they did a great job this season. They didn't get mentioned, but hardly any network show did. Only Abbott Elementary on ABC. Everything else is HBO, Hulu, Netflix. Anything you can stream and watch on your own, right? Right. Well, you know, this is us, obviously, one of the shows that I really love, but yeah. is, is it starting to yeah. lose some of its luster there? I th the I th other dramas might have had yeah. held more weight this year. Probably, yeah. but I'm going for Ozark. They've got to win. That is like my favorite since the <laughs> Sopranos. Uh, they're the modern day Sopranos, if you will. Got to yeah. win, hopefully. That's funny. I knew nothing about the drama category. All of the comedies, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Ted yes, Lasso. Yes, I love like, too. Ted I, Lasso, yes. exactly. I must watch the happy things. <laughs> exactly, Ellen. We need a little laughter these days. We do. Well, you yeah. know what else we need? The great day morning mix. Okay. It's time for it. Well, Twitter wants billionaire Elon Musk to hold up his end of the deal and actually buy the company and it's suing him to try to force him to do so on Tuesday the social media giant filed a lawsuit against Musk and a Delaware court the lawsuit comes days after Musk sent a letter to Twitter saying he wants to terminate the 44 billion dollar purchasing agreement he claims the company is withholding data about the number of bots and spam accounts on the platform Twitter says Musk desired to end the deal is quote invalid and wrongful. Hmm. Hmm, Ellen <laughs> is right. I wonder if we'll ever really know what happened if he's having buyer's remorse. But almost instantly, Mary, if you remember, after he made the announcement about the purchase, then it started coming out about the bots and the fake accounts and things that he says he didn't realize about Twitter. So you wonder, is that the real reason? But I, if we're going to court, we might actually find out. We will. Uh, you know, Elon Musk doesn't strike me as a, a man who's not smart. <laughs> Let's put it that yes. way. I would suspect <laughs> that if you're about to throw 44 billion down, yeah. you kind of know everything, right? Right. Uh, so, yeah. You would have um, done the research. We shall see a divorce before they're even married. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, that one's going to get drugged through the court system. And also, we're going to get to the latest developments here in the back and forth between Washington Commander's owner Dan Snyder and the Congressional Committee that's been investigating allegations of workplace misconduct. Yesterday, the House Oversight and Reform Committee sent a letter to Snyder saying it would accept his offer to testify remotely if he agreed to offer full and complete testimony. The committee now wants a firm yes or no from Snyder by noon today, Mary. And if it's a yes, Snyder would appear via Zoom for a recorded deposition on July 28th. So we're still waiting till the end of the month. But I, is he going to say yes? He's had so many excuses. I can't see a yes in our future. Let's go over some of those excuses, shall we? Right. Uh, l let me say this. The worst thing you can do when you get uh, one of these types of subpoenas is to 
ignore mm. it. And he didn't do that, but he most assuredly doesn't seem like he made it a top priority. It's not a dinner date invitation. It's I mean, do you really fun. get to say to Congress, hey, um, you know, I can't make it this weekend. Uh, what about yeah. next weekend? You know what, let me pencil you in. It's, it's the look, right? It's the yeah. optics of it, and they just don't look good. He's put it off for so long now, you're like, what's about to come out? Now we're right. all gonna be watching for sure because it's taken so long if he does say yes to hear his side of the story. Yeah, definitely, I'm, I'm all ears. Yeah, we are, I hope he says yes. Okay. Uh